Hello everybody and welcome, this is Emperor Kumquat and today we're going to be ranking every vehicle on the sign from worst to best and to help, I'm joined by Comet and Cam. Wait, wait, what, what are you doing? Wait, what is- So Cam, tell me, yeah? what makes the Vehicons your favorite Transformers faction? Uh, Steve, <laughs> uh, he uh, represents the entire Vehicon community. <laughs> So without further ado, let's dive right into the tier names. And first up is from Transformers Prime. I understand. And now for the second highest tier, we also have a quote from Transformers Prime. <laughs> and now for the middle tier, we also have a quote from Transformers Prime. Does your boss know you have a potty mouth? Get melted, wheel grinder! And now for the second lowest tier, is a quote from Transformers Prime. And boom. Grenade! And for the lowest tier, well, you already know. Miko, look away! But Turn your head away! So first up is the Beast Machines Vehicons, because contrary to what many may believe, uh, Vehicons did not originate from Transformers Prime. They're actually way older and uglier, in my opinion. When you, when you think of it as just a drone, how boring. <laughs> you know, it's so boring. But I gotta say, I like all of these designs. I just wish that they were unique to begin with, like it wasn't a mass army. I think my favorite one is the Jetstorm one. But when the toys were released, they were actually based on unused concept art, so when it came to the final version, they looked radically different. Maybe under... Grenade! Yeah. Because <laughs> it can still die. The toy as well. Yeah, mm. we'll, put them, we'll put them next to each other. Toy of Frost is absolutely disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. That's good. <laughs> what do you think about Tanko? The funny part about him is his head just sticks out, and that kind of reminds me of Megatron's 4, Jet Form, and Transformers Prime, how it just kind of sticks out, and you could just whack it. I gotta say, I kind of like the colors on the original toy just a little bit more. Now, for the next set of drones of Vehicons, uh, they were never in the show, but they did get their own toys. We have Spy Streak, Mirage, Blast Charge, and Scavenger. And it's kind of a shame that these guys never made into the show because it would have added more variety to the Viacon army. The last one looks like a combination of a forklift and a piranha plant, like from the Mario games. I'm not sure what the make of that. Do you see what I see? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I think the only one I like out of these lot is probably Mirage because I like the race car. <gasps> You know, let's start with my favorite one. I like Obsidian. He's like a flying scorpion helicopter guy. Yeah, I kind of dig it. But the toy, on the other hand. Oh my god, he's like a little stub. <laughs> Your boy <laughs> got done dirty. <laughs> he's got no. He's got no fingers. He's got no hands. He's got no feet. <laughs> Maybe like whispering judgmentally, kind of cool. Yeah, well, I. Well, I yeah, he's, he's, he's kind of cool, but. Uh, he's a... What about what about Striker? What, what are we feeling about the show version? Okay, her chest is buff, but her arms are t like toothpicks. Uh, one of the lower two. It's ugly. Okay, you know, because of the stomach, it's got to be turning your head away, maybe. Look at the stomach. No hate against Stryka, though. She's she kind of ugly if you look too closely. Yeah, just kind of blink. Now let's move on to Transfers Prime, but we'll start off with the early sneak peek where the head design wasn't quite finished. Did they normally look that bald? This one kind of looks very bald. <laughs> Now let's talk about the main Vehicons, the final design, although I gotta point out that there are some differences between Transformers Prime concept art and the actual show. It's- they're all good though, they're all good. They're sleek, kind of evil looking, I like their banded orange eyes. These are definitely peak design, I think this obviously has to go in my highest tier, right? Yeah, can log a Prime, has log the Prime. Alright, next up is Steve. He may look like the rest, he may speak like the rest he may transform like the rest but he is so unique <laughs> so different 
from everyone else. Yeah, once you know him, you can really spot the differences. Like, the, the purple is richer. He's got a sharp look in his eyes. He knows how to do things. This is a reliable Vicon. He gets things done. You know, I think he actually deserves his own tier. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we'll just name it Steve. <laughs> Only called Steve. That is the name of it. The crews are working as quickly as they can, Lord. I think all of the main Vicon toys as well are pretty good, but the first edition one is without a doubt the most expensive one here. <laughs> okay, okay. This one can go higher. This one can be like whispering judgmentally unless you like it and want to put it higher yeah because like he's expensive but it's like we're whispering judgmentally about it like is he though but the robots in disguise deluxe class is such a huge improvement from that first edition you think this is like the best transformers prime vehicon toy oh yeah it's the best representation of the vehicons oh yeah okay ken lager prime yeah, yeah without a doubt they also come in different colors sometimes yeah we got green and blue um <laughs> wow how exciting you know what? Props to them. They wanted to be their own people. Yeah, they wanted to stand out from the crowd. Okay, now we have the bot builder one from the website, and uh, he looks like the Supreme Dalek. He never goes on the battlefield because he's sending in the commands to the other ones. Yeah, <laughs> he's the Supreme Vehicon. Okay, the next one, the Mummy Vehicons. They came from the Titan comics for Transformers Prime, which are kind of really silly comics. You had to pay four pound to read this. <laughs> when they come at you going, Mwua. Yeah, I'd be like, okay, these guys are actually kind of kind of dangerous. Not a word about this to anyone. Next up, we have the regular jet vehicons. So not only can they drive, but they can also fly. Yeah, that's basically it. I guess they can share the Ken Lager Prime, right? Now we do have the Jet Vehicon toys, and the only thing I really don't like is the Arms Micron port thing. Yeah, I don't know why it's such a, like, a, a weak purple. Now let's talk about the Vehicon Energon Miners. I love these guys. They're miners, they dream of being warriors. Yeah, they deserve it. Not today, Satan. Not today. So the next one is, in my opinion, the best one, because they have the coolest color scheme. That would be the Silver Jet Vehicon. It looks really cool. It's a shame that they were just kind of brought in last minute, you know, to the show. It's like, I would have loved to have seen these guys sooner. <laughs> he started he started spray painting a bunch of Vehicons and claiming them as his own. But, you know, these, these are absolutely badass. I think we all know where these are going to go. I would be offended if it, if it were anything lower because that used to be my like, YouTube profile pick for the longest time. Well, speaking of which... <laughs> oh boy. We have Emperor Kumquat. I love the artwork. It's so nice. A unique individual, of course. Does great content. I would definitely recommend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Advertising. Yes. I finally just wanted to have a unique Vicon. So this one's friendly. It's waving. My partner. My partner did the artwork for this. Fantastic job. It's just you waving. Just hi, hello. <laughs> They're waving. Oh, we brought it up just so the audience knows it was you. It definitely can log a prime. Oh, definitely can log a prime. Now we have the Takara Tomy Jet Vehicon toy, and honestly, I feel like they could have painted this better. They didn't even paint the eyes. It's got dead eyes. Now let's check out these little guys. We have the Creos. Kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, I probably would feel bad if I accidentally stepped on one of these. Now we have this one IDW one that's getting bullied. I kind of feel sorry for him. Cute. Some of my favorite Vehicon designs ever. And I think it's an absolute crime that they were not in the show because it mm. it would have just spiced it up so much and made it actually more, oh, yeah. more cool. I would have loved like the huge tank one. Oh yeah. Just shows up one episode and the Autobots are like, oh my God. For those who don't know, <laughs> they were in the Transverse Prime video game. They might smite a Prime. Like look at the tank one. <laughs> I know and they were easy to beat down in the game, but they look tough. I think they gave me some trouble actually. I think they gave me a lot of trouble. If you can remember our playthrough series. Everything gave me trouble in that game. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. This Vehicon specifically is a giant. Like you can see a tiny little star scream there. This comic was so wild. He stands out a bit more because of his chest. And Megatron had started like a fight club with Vehicons and made them fight each other, and then he started with Star Scream into a cage of a giant Vehicon. 
bring in the robots in disguise vehicons of the many different colors. <laughs> These guys are basically just like the Power Rangers of the vehicons. We got so many different colors and variants of them, and I don't know if this was just to fit in with the robots in disguise aesthetic. I do like them, they stand out more, but there's just nothing to say about them. Some of the colors don't work, like the yellow one is such an eyesore. That one's asking to be shot. The red and blue one is kind of cool. Yeah, they're not that good, but they're not so bad. The one with the bright blue. Ugh. That is like the worst combination of colors. It looks like sick. <laughs> now Takara brought back the Viacon Deluxe toy, but just made it all gray. It's almost entirely grayscale. It's like they hardly tried here. Yeah, they didn't it's even like try. When you have a Transformers toy and you didn't paint it yet, it's like it looks unfinished. Yeah, we almost forgot about this one, but there was like who I suspect is a Viacon that had facial surgery, Shadelock. Shadelock was one of the bounty hunters that Starscream hired when he was tracking down Minicons, and he was actually pretty cool. I really like that face design. I think that plastic surgery did him a lot better. And you can kind of see the shoulders. They kind of added a little bit to the other Viacons with the shoulders as well. And I, I do like this. I like the scratch markings on him as well, just to make it more apparent he's a bounty hunter. Um, he survived many Autobot battles. This is what the Viacons look like in the Transmers Universe MMO game that was unfortunately cancelled. Oh, yeah. We don't know what they could have looked like body form. I imagine it probably was similar to the show, but I I mistook this as Soundwave. I, I was about to say that looks like Soundwave. So, so it says Viacon Commander right below it, so I guess it, it, we have to count it. I don't like that because it looks like Soundwave to me. You know, it's... It's gotta go low because of that. Yeah. That's not good. Now we actually do have some Age of Extinction Viacons, and they were actually named Viacon. We have a Power Battler Viacon, disguised as a cemetery wing car. The scary black car, so <laughs> I only saw that movie one time. And then we have the SUV ones, which is basically just the dreads, just recolored. Very lame, very boring. Wow, they would intimidate the other Viacons on the Nemesis. I would never ever have thought that was a Viacon. That looks like a weird, one of those weird slobbering Bay movie, the Decepticons. Now we have the Creo Viacons, but what's interesting about this is they were based on the KSI bots, so it's like, we can't technically count the KSI bots, because they're called KSI bots, not Viacons, but the Creo ones, it's confusing. That doesn't really look too much like a robot to me. We technically can't include them as Viacons because they're not, but they were close to being labelled as Viacons, so it's like, it, the name's fitting for it. I'll only include them because it's something we should have had. They look good. They look scary too. I think all three of them could go to the top there. Not Steve, of course. Under Steve. Ken Laga Prime. A lot of Bayverse fans will be happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> And there we have it guys, every Viacon design ranked from worst to best. So, tell me Cam, which design is your personal favorite? I'm glad you asked Kumquat. Personally, and this is really hard, because we've had so many designs. I'm glad to go with Steve. Well, I can't argue with that, but I think <laughs> I'm legally obligated to say my own profile picture. <laughs> my Viacon is me. <laughs> You can't compare with Steve. Uh, but, you know, I like your ambition. And you know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to say my favorite design is Kumquat because I think your partner did a fantastic job. Oh. Uh, you know, we can love ourselves and not compare to godly Steve. I'd like to thank Combin and Cam for joining me. Who knew you were such a big Viacon fan? Yeah, I don't know. Me, me as well. I didn't know. Um, Until now. <laughs> Yeah, until my channel got hijacked, I guess I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already, do subscribe to Common and Cam's channel. He does a lot of Transformers stuff. Yeah, I do that. I, I do the robot content. You can now rank every Viacon design we've covered on this video on Tearless Maker. A link to the website will be in the description box below. Thanks everyone for watching. I've been Emperor Kumquat. And I've been Common and Cam. Can I have my channel back now, please? I'm sorry. <laughs>